With an average of just 14 goals each from their previous 16 games in the league, it was widely expected that Bose and Drada wouldn't serve up a goal fest, and so it turned out. Drada had a chance of a goal as Mark Griffin's first touch made the space for a shot, but Shane Supple was on hand to keep it out. Drawda keeper Stephen McGuinness was pressed into action at the other end. Keith Ward's free kick found George Poynton, but his low shot was gathered by McGuinness. A Drawda corner kick almost produced a breakthrough goal. Adam Wickstead, who impressed throughout for Drawda, eventually had the shot, but luckily for Bowes, it was straight at Supple. Another Drawda corner kick, this time from their right, caused more problems for Bowes. Kieran McGuigan hooked the ball goalwards, but Bowes captain Derek Pender was there to clear the danger from under the crossbar, much to the relief of manager Keith Long. Wickstead's impressive run helped to set up an opportunity for substitute Ryan Masterson. Unfortunately for Drada, their recent signing wasn't able to convert, with former Ipswich town man Supple there to deny the visitors once again. Bowes started to come more into the game as they sought to grab the lead. Ward made space to try his luck from long distance, but McGuinness saw it all the way and was able to push it behind as the score remained at nil all. Bowes continued to turn the screw with Ward involved again. This time he squared the ball for their top scorer, Dinny Corcoran, who in turn crossed with point and lurking only for Colum DC to clear for Drada. As Bowes kept the pressure on, Ward was unable to profit from the rebound and Philly Gannon eventually had a shot that was blocked and the Drogheda goal remained intact. A late corner kick for Bowes handed them the chance of possibly testing Drogheda, but it came to nothing as the full-time whistle sounded. So the game ended in stalemate with neither team able to find the net. The third scoreless draw in a row for Drogheda to be involved in. It was honours even at Dalymount Park.